Hi, my name's Isaac, and this is a brand new Ford Bronco Hennessy Velociraptor. And today I'm going to review this absolutely wild off road SUV for you guys. Before we begin, I'd like to thank Manderbach Ford for allowing me to borrow this vehicle to review. For all your Ford needs in the Hamburg, Pennsylvania area, I'll leave a link to their website in the description below. This particular Bronco started life as a regular Big Bend trim. It was delivered here to Manderbach, and then what happens is the dealership will send the vehicle out to Hennessy, where it gets upgraded, and then Hennessy sends it back to the dealer. And now it's on sale and I have the opportunity to talk about all these cool features with you guys today. What's really cool about Hennessy is they don't just do Broncos, they actually do a multitude of vehicles. In fact, Manderbach just got this Ram TRX as a trade-in and they're considering sending this to Hennessy to be upgraded too. A Ford dealer upgrading a Ram to make it even better? Look, I'm not 100% sure, but I'm pretty confident that that's the plot of the movie Sleeping with the Enemy. But today I'm showing you this Bronco right here and the regular grill part right here with the headlight housing is pretty standard. They haven't touched that. You'll get LED headlights with LED daytime running lights right here. Bronco is stamped into the front and you'll have a front camera for the 360 degree camera system that this includes. But obviously you have the giant uh, one sticker graphic on here and the absolutely massive Velociraptor new front bumper with this bar in the front and I like how they've incorporated the parking sensors into that and then you'll have LED off-road lights down here. Uh, those are controlled from the inside. I'll talk about that a little bit later but really just incredibly aggressive stance. You'll see there's obviously a massive lift on this thing. There's new uh, off-roading components. I mean just a ton to talk about but first Let's talk about underneath the hood. Moving underneath the hood in this Hennessy Bronco, it's powered by Ford's 2.7 liter twin turbo V6, which normally outputs 330 horsepower and 415 pound-feet of torque. But with Hennessy's upgrades, it now outputs 400 brake horsepower and 503 pound-feet of torque. There's additional engine management software upgrades and extensive tuning underneath the hood. That is still paired to Ford's standard 10-speed automatic transmission. Moving to the profile of this Hennessy Bronco, you'll have 37-inch tires here, massive, around these 18-inch wheels. I really like the design of them, and I think it's cool. It not only says Hennessy in the center cap, but it's also stamped into the actual wheel on both sides, which I think is a nice attention to detail. And then you'll have a rock bar down there, brush guard, and then Velociraptor 400 and the number one badging graphics on the side here. Normally, I do not like giant graphics like this, but I think it fits this vehicle really, really well and allows it to stand out even more than it already does. Uh, I don't know if I mentioned this, but the 400 in Velociraptor 400 denotes that horsepower number. And then as we move up here, you'll also have another Hennessy graphic. So we got it on the wheels, we got it here, and then here you'll have another little Hennessy graphic uh, on the rear. And then a full-size spare tire is mounted here with your backup camera, and you will have your Bronco logo right there. And what I think is particularly cool is even though this is an aftermarket bumper on here, uh, if you couldn't tell, um, they have incorporated the parking sensors into that, which is really neat. I like that they have not foregone that. Traditional Bronco taillights though, if we open this up, we can pull this open and this part comes up as well to give us access behind the second row seats. Not a ton of room back here, but that is the sacrifices you make with a two-door. And then you have a little bit of storage down there. One neat thing I think is that, ooh, we got, hold on a second. I, see this right here? See that right there? I'm gonna get that off. Ah, there we go. <laughs> um, you'll have a little Bronco in the center of your light back here, and then you will have a 12 volt 
power outlet, which is cool as well. Now, this does have the ability to take off the roof, though this is the hardtop configuration, and I'm not gonna do that in this particular video, though it is still obviously fully functional. This is a regular Bronco after all, with some massive upgrades. Speaking of upgrades, some of the other exterior ones include an upgraded exhaust system, high flow air filtration, an upgraded heat exchange, and a front and rear leveling kit. Moving to the interior of this Bronco, you might think that the cool Hennessy upgrades are exclusive to the exterior and under the hood, but that's not the case. This interior has some really neat upgrades as well. Starting here with the seats, you'll have Hennessy embroidered into the headrest, and then a little bit lower here, it says Velociraptor with red stitching all the way down. They're really comfortable leather seats. And then over here, you'll have red accenting in the door panel, and then up here, you'll have grab handles stitched with red and black accenting as well to match the rest of that. And then if we move over here, you'll have a Hennessy plaque that says Velociraptor 400 with the serial number. This is number 16 in the production line of this particular Velociraptor 400. And then what's really neat is this comes factory on the Broncos. You'll have aux uh, switches, and this is already pre-programmed on the first light to have the front headlights come on on the Hennessy. So that's really nice, very cool uh, feature right there that that's already wired up. And then of course you can use all of these other auxiliary lights for any other purpose. And one of the last things I wanted to touch upon here with the Hennessy upgrades is if we open up the armrest right here, you have a little safe. That is so neat. I have never seen anything like this. It doesn't have a code on it right now, so you'll just twist this and pop that open. You can put pretty much anything you want in there. It's the normal center armrest storage area but it's a safe and what i think is particularly funny is obviously you can lock that but you can also lock this right here so you could keep quite a lot in here and have it very very snugly secure thanks to that little addition and those are from what i could find the hennessy upgrades here on the interior but i still want to talk about this bronco interior because this might be the first time you're watching a video on the bronco so i still wanted to highlight some of the other standard features on this thing so we're going to turn this on really quick and listen to that hennessy exhaust And then we'll start here on the door panel. Since these are removable doors, they are pretty basic. You'll have lock, unlock, and then your door handle right here. That's pretty much it. You have a little uh, pouch uh, netting here for um, storage, but not a lot. Anything to make this door as light as possible. Then down here, you'll have your lighting controls, your electronic parking brake, and your hood popper. And then here you have a, this is very glary, but you'll have a factory grab handle right here. Personally, when I was getting in, I actually found the Hennessy edition a little bit more useful to get up in here, um, or I would have preferred an A-pillar one, but you still do have the ability to grab that. And then in here, we have a fully digital gauge cluster. Well, nearly fully digital. The speedometer is still a physical gauge, so everything else is controlled from the steering wheel, and you have a lot of different off-road settings in here and your standard Bluetooth navigation phone stuff like that but there's just tons you can go into which is really really useful here let me tap off-road really quick show you some of the stuff you can do your pitch and roll your power distribution your tire pressure that's all incredibly useful especially on a beefed up version of the Bronco like this particular one then the steering wheel is leather wrapped and you're gonna have your controls for the radar guided cruise control your volume Bluetooth stuff like that and then if we move over here you'll have the larger bronco infotainment system upgrade right here so this fills in the entire space really large screen very um, 
very quick, very responsive. You can kind of split the screen. So if you want navigation over here, you can have that while you have something else on the screen as well. That's always really cool. Uh, valet mode, hotspot, Amazon Alexa, uh, the standard features that you would get on most Ford models. Obviously there is also Apple CarPlay and Android Auto incorporated into this. And then this does have a 360 degree camera. So there's a top down view and your backup camera if you want. And then right here you can switch between which camera you wanna see, which is really, really useful splitting that up, especially if you're gonna be taking this thing off road, which I expect most owners of this particular Hennessy would probably be doing quite frequently. And then uh, let's actually go up first. So we'll talk about these buttons up here. This is a really cool row. So you have a front locker, rear locker. This is a locker to put this in an off-road mode that will um, give you a tighter turning radius. Then right here, you'll have traction control off and your hazard button. It's funny how they stick the hazard button right in here with all the other cool off-roady stuff. They're like, look at the hazards. They're so cool and off-roady. Um, anyway, now moving down here, you'll have your climate controls and your heated seats right there. And then you will have your gear selector. This is an automatic transmission, though the Bronco is available with a manual as well. And then opening this up, you'll have USB and USB-C down here. And then it's funny, there's a second plaque because Ford also includes a plaque from the factory um, with this specific uh, Bronco, though it doesn't have uh, a model number or anything like that. It's just a nice little plaque um, saying that this was built in Dearborn, Michigan, perhaps the coolest name for a town ever. And then over here, you'll have your go over any terrain modes uh, and your four high, four low, stuff like that. That's really nice. If we turn this dial, you can see the center gauge cluster screen will give you your different modes. So that's nice that even this off-road variant uh, has the ability to do um, different um, light and heavy off-roading um, configurations. Let me put it back here in normal. There we go. And then down here, you'll have your window controls, which is nice to see. So you can just tap those. Those will put the windows down. Just like a Jeep, um, it's just easier to not have all those controls built into the door. So they put them here in the center in case you wanna take those doors off. In addition to your power mirror controls, those are also there as well. That pretty much wraps up the front of the interior of this Hennessy Bronco. Upgrades and standard features. Let's take a quick look at the back, then we'll get this thing out on the road. Now, before I talk about the back seats, I wanted to highlight the process of getting into the back seats. Normally that wouldn't be super difficult, but since this Hennessy is really high off the ground, it's a little bit of a chore. And I thought it would be fun to show you guys. So there is a grab handle on the seat back right here that would slide the seat forward. And then there's a handle underneath the seat since they are manual. That slides the entirety of the seat forward, gives you room to get in. And thankfully, Hennessy has included these grab handles up here because if you had to get into the back seat with this ground clearance and this grab handle, it wouldn't happen. It, it would just be too difficult. So what you have to do, and this is gonna be really hard in dress shoes, is you grab this, you get up, and then you kind of have to shimmy your way into the back. And there you are. Oh, you're in the back seats. Oh, and it's the same thing getting out. A little bit of a chore. Wouldn't recommend in dress shoes. Moving to the back seats in this Hennessy Bronco, it was quite a process to get back here, but honestly, I have a fair bit of leg room. This is about where I would sit and uh, in the driver's position, and I have three or four inches of leg room, and I probably have about three or four inches of headroom. I am 5'9", just to give you guys an idea of how tall someone could be and fit back here fairly comfortably. Definitely wouldn't want to be back here for too long, though. One of the nice benefits of these back seats is their stadium seat. So these are a little bit higher than the front row. And so that gives you, I don't know, a little bit more of an open feeling in here and uh, not as cramped. And so I really like that. These seats back here, while not embroidered, do have nice stitching and they are the same high quality leather as the front seats. That's really cool to see. My favorite thing back here is the no step 
uh, etched into the center console there. I think it's funny. I, I assume they must have done some sort of testing that if you stepped on this, uh, I don't know why I pushed on it like it would break. Like, I hope not. <laughs> but um, I imagine they did testing that this would be very bad to step on this um, long term. You could break the plastic or whatever. So I think that's funny. They put that warning right there. And then down here, there are some amenities. You'll get USB and USB-C as well as a household power outlet in the back of a Bronco. That's nice. So if you did have to stay back here for a little bit longer on a road trip, uh, you wouldn't be without um, some nice features, which is really cool. Uh, that pretty much wraps up these back seats, though. Let's take this thing for a spin. All right, driving the Hennessy Bronco Velociraptor 400. That is a mouthful. Big name, but it is a very big SUV. We're going to give it the beans here and floor it. Oh, yeah, listen to that. That sounds incredible. And I'd expect nothing less from Hennessy. That is a very impressive sounding SUV. And uh, it's such a commanding view. I mean, this has almost more of a commanding view than something like an F-150. I feel like I'm in a Hummer H2. I mean, it's very high off the ground and uh, you really feel like king of the road when you're driving this. Now, obviously, since this is akin to a Jeep Wrangler in that you can take the roof off, the sound dampening in here is not the best. Though I suspect people that are buying these are not buying them from sound dampening inside the interior. Um, you get a little wind noise, but that's okay. You crank your tunes loud enough, you wouldn't be able to hear that. And of course, you still have heat and AC in here, as well as those really nice heated seats. But this thing handles well, even on the road. I was wondering how it would handle with such big 37 inch tires, but it probably wouldn't be the worst daily. It would definitely give you uh, quite a lot of attention on the road, but it definitely handles fine. And it's such a cool vehicle. I don't have the opportunity to review stuff like this very often, but Manderbach Ford actually has a couple of these in stock, uh, different configurations of Hennessy vehicles. And I was really curious to be able to review one um, because it's not something that comes onto my plate very often. And so I'm really thankful for the opportunity to do this um, and to see what an aftermarket company will do to a vehicle like this uh, with the package that they offer and all the upgrades that it has. So that's really cool. Uh, I think that's going to wrap up this driving segment. Thanks for watching. Sitting this close to a fire may look very aesthetically pleasing for a video, but I am burning up right now. <laughs> well, guys, that's pretty much going to wrap up this video. But before I go, I'd like to mention that I am a Christian and that if you have any prayer requests, I would love to be able to pray for you guys. You can leave those in the comment section below. And lastly, I like to close on a weekly scriptural reading. Today, I'm reading from Isaiah 43, verses 18 and 19. Remember not the former things, nor consider the things of old. Behold, I am doing a new thing. Now it springs forth. Do you not perceive it? I will make a way in the wilderness and the rivers and rivers in the desert. All right, guys, I'll see you next time. Take care.